What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's JMI Apocalypse here, and we are back with some more Monster Hunter 2 stories. Or. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. There we go. Wow, I always fuck up the name of that, and I can never remember it to save my arse. Um, so, last we left off, we had just freed Ratha from the um, enemy riders and um, whoever the guys were in the skull mask, which are supposedly the enemy riders we learned out that the hunters were in cahoots of them and anna had now finally told me the full backstory of how my grandfather had perished upon the day of trying to figure out what was in the pits i believe it was something called a negagante kind of attacked him and shoved him off into a cliff or something i don't fully remember but let's get back into it. Um, I believe last we left off for where I exited, um, we were supposed to be looking for another light that was off in the distance. Now, where off in the distance? Okay, that direction. All right, I remember now. Let's go off and see what's in the pit. I can't even see the light. The damn trees are too thick. Oh, there's the light. Oh! What the hell is this? Well, this is cool. It's like a little shrine? Or what was a shrine? Wow! Looks like a maniac monster was here and didn't hold back, huh? It's so weird to yes. look at me with the freaking wooden armor and the big shoulders. <laughs> oh, I'm purple now. Oh no. Oh. Okay, that's kinda of cool. The waterfall effects neat. It's a pit of preposterous proportions! I swear the cat jokes in this get worse and worse yes. by the hours. It swallowed the entire village. Oh, it's not a shrine, it was a village. <laughs> Hell did Lay off, will ya? You trying to make a meal out of me? Hold on. You think I'm a conchu for you to chew on? Isn't that? Must have got me confused with a regular feline. I know that voice. Positively. Claudacious. <laughs> Oh damn! Fireball! It can't be. Look alive, buddy! Let's kick his ass! Right Never dealt with one of these things. Oh! Okay, what are we doing with? Uh Quer or uh Peco or Queripeco? I'm not sure how these are pronounced. I'm going to presume it has a fatigue song. So it sings? Wow. Okay. Okay, so you are a technical attack. Alright, let's own this little thing. This bird's a very weird thing. So how does it think you're able to attack, but I'm perfectly fine? Like that, that made no sense. We tag team him, but he's still able to attack us. Ow. Look, you're mad now. You're mad now? It called in a crab. It called in a damn crab. It called in a motherfucking crab. Let's break your skull then. Oh, this is gonna be a new one since he can fly now. I didn't even think of that. Oh. Okay. I see you. What is this, like snow? Oh. That's gonna leave a mark. Damn. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, this is new. This is new. What am I supposed to do? Oh, God. Oh, damn these games. Thank you, Jesus. That was a new one. I didn't expect that, so note that. That will be duly noted for all the games. You became a speed, so I believe I need attack. Aha! A smart man! I can't tell if you're mad or not. Yes! Bird must die. I don't trust it. I really don't. Oh, what? Oh, no. We're getting all the new ones. Okay. Come on, Crab. Will you just die? I'm not asking for much in life. I'm just asking for you to die, please. I'll leave you alone afterwards. I'll leave you alone immediately afterwards. All you gotta do is die. All you gotta do is just die. That's all you have to do is die. Yeah! Thank God. Oh, that fucking weird ass looking bird in the crab finally died. Also, who the hell was the cat? You? That was a close one. I agree. That was definitely uh, a close one. Color me impressed. Waltzing around with monsters? Positively claudacious stuff. Goddamn, not another one. Huh? Sarge? Sarge? Who's Sarge? Howdy do, partner. <laughs> Get you! Positively claudacious. I must be dreaming. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. With your antics, I'm surprised you're still alive. Yeah. Is that an insult or a compliment? Jeez. How do you know Naviru? Hmm? Name's Orgo. The two of us go way back. He's my brother from another mother. What she call you? You're going by Naviru now? Navigating Naviru. Pretty cool, What right? was his original name? Sure is. Positively. Claudacious! And for um And what? It's nothing. I mean it's positively claudacious. <laughs> you bet it is. You bet it is. I owe you one. Why don't you drop by my place? <laughs> We're both looking at him confused. So you live around here now. Yeah, lots changed. I haven't seen you in forever. There's so much I want to tell you. Do you mind uh, if we swing by Sarge's house? We're both looking at each other like, huh? It's fine. It's like having a damn child, except this one's furry. It won't leave me alone. Just past the Pomor Garden. All right, I guess we're gonna go see what Sarge's house look like. I'm kind of interested since uh, there used to be a village there so i wonder what their new house is really uh, really seems a little interesting oh wow this place is beautiful wow this place is breathtaking okay what am i to expect because this don't look like a house it looks like a um uh, canyon. Not really a cave. Oh, wow. Live in a nice cave. Cave. I almost said cage. Whoops. And I think they all just built this. That's impressive. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Sarge, this is where you live? I mean, their village is kind of gone, so... That's right. As you can see, it's a shelter for felines. 
a shelf? For those who lost their homes and got nowhere else to lay their heads. Well, I mean, it's not really that they lost their home. It's kind of that their home just kind of disappeared out from under them. How did they lose their homes? You saw the pit earlier, right? Our village used to be right there. Damn. Oh, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. It's tough times for everyone, but I haven't lost my spirit. I got my family. Hey, that's all that matters. Family is key. That does This help. must be a Fast and Furious movie now. Family. As if losing our village wasn't enough. Terrifying monsters are hanging around the pit. Some are acting real strange, like the one you saved me from. Yeah, that one was very This must be so stressful. Is there some way we can help? Yes, yeah, Sarge, don't be shy. Ask for anything. Anything? We're family, aren't we? We help each other out, especially during hard times. Yeah, that's true. Aw, oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> His smile. I love how he's got a piece of wood, and I know it's meant to symbolize a cigar. Let's get ready and go check out the monsters in this area. Pardon me, Ryder, but is it true you were talking, with, talking about with Orgo? Saw a terrible meowth <laughs> God damn these jokes. They just get they get cheesier and cheesier. Uh, in Bloomburst Grove, that's why we're hiding out here. But our settlement in Bloomburst Grove, please help us. Alright, let's go find this monster. After I figure out... Oh yeah, that's the prayer pot. Okay, let's see what we got in our subquest that I can turn in. I doubt I have. I'm presuming this way is where I'm going. Oh wow, that's beautiful. What the fuck is that? What in the fuck is that? It looks like a mongoose. Mixed with a lizard. Yeah. Uh, Mizutsu? 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 Um. Okay, so your speed, that was. It's now noted. Now very much well known. Again. Hit him again. I hit this motherfucker with everything we got. One more time, boys. I'll make sure this bad boy is broken. The witching bubble. Excuse me. Yo, what's up, man? You decide to assist? I'm okay with that. All right. Let's hand this thing. It's hand. oh, it ran. Hunting for hunters. Wow, that's a first. I haven't seen a monster run. That's a first. A fucking. Well done. Shall we? F There's no need. It's not a hunt. My question is, why'd you guys come out of nowhere to help me? How nonchalant. Don't tease me. You again? Why are you here? I bet you're still after Rafa, aren't you? Can't you just leave us in peace? You've got the wrong idea. This is my... We're done here. Wow. Wait a minute! Hey, pal. I saw you in action. You were positively claudacious. God damn these jokes! 
As usual, nothing escapes your attention, Orgo. She knows Orgo? It's been a while, Tsukino. What? You know each other? Sure do. To what do we owe this pleasure? Came on a hunch. I had a bad feeling. And I was right. The village has been destroyed. It does suck for you guys. Of course, I didn't expect to run into you here. But hey, the invisible bonds of fate brought old friends back together. And that's just peachy, don't you think? Real fucking peachy. Can't shake each other off no matter how hard we try. Don't act so cold. That old trick won't work on me. For a chat? About how all you Claudacious folk can solve our monster problems once and for all. You want us to work together? I highly doubt the cat and Enna are in with working with these two. <laughs> Personally, I'm okay with it, but I think those two ain't really gonna agree with you. Sar, you want us to go on a cooperative mission? You know, I never really even thought they might agree. Uh, um... Nope. Nope. None of us agreed on that. None of us. Alright, I suppose, uh... Back to the shelter we go, guys! I will meet you guys there to see if we are going after the meat soon with everybody. Thank you for helping me out back there. Really appreciate it. No problem, man. That's what friends are for. And the uh, tension in the room is a bit uh, tight. By the way, why is everybody acting so tense? We're all in this together, right? Um. Listen, Sarge, I'm all for helping you get rid of big, bad monsters, but it might be impossible to team up with these guys. I thought you were all well acquainted. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say well acquainted. <laughs> If only it were that simple. I think it's a good idea to join forces. At least Anna's got a level head. Huh? <gasps> Why, pray tell? I want to help those in need, whether it's felines or humans. Besides, it may bring us closer to discovering the truth. In short, you can help Orgo and the felines while also approaching your own objective? Yes. Why not? Hunters excel at tracking monsters, while riders are known for greater mobility. Your abilities complement one another. Together, we'll be more efficient. I like the way this lady thinks. I see. That is rather persuasive. I figured it would have been a persuasive. Like a purr. Hold on. Are you saying you don't mind teaming up with riders who keep a cursed Rathalos as their friend? I'm sorry, but that's Mr. Cursed Rathalos to you, sir. Don't jump to conclusions. Is it a harmful power? We don't know that yet. At least the cat's got a level head. Oh. What are you going on about? This strange light. It gives monsters terrible power and makes them wreak havoc to everything in their path. It won't end with the destruction of just one village. Is that true? Ratha doesn't have that power though. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Our village was destroyed long before you guys turned up. Looks to me you're not to blame. Why don't we settle it with a good old cat fight? Whoever has the most claudacious paw punch wins. Sarge, that's how felines settle matters, not humans. He is true on that. <laughs> but for what it's worth, if it's for you, Sarge, I can put up with them for a while. Haha. <laughs> it's the only reason you can put up with them. What do you say, Kyle? Yeah, come on, Kyle. God, that's such a name. If you're willing to do it, I'll tag along. Sounds like some middle-aged man who fucking... Thank you, Kyle. ...yells at his I'll wife. I'll for this. I'll help, but there's one condition. What's that? If I see that Rathalos get up to any funny business at all, I'm gonna put an end to this. Fine, my one condition is you try and harm the Rathalos, I put your head through one of my shoulder spikes. Wow, that's a really large shoulder spike. I didn't even think about it. Do 
Whichever ones I use just kind of put me at the, the top. Perfect. We're investigating the Clara Coast. And now we're working with Kyle. Does that mean Kyle will ride... Oh, he will run beside me. Oh, and the cat's below me. I didn't even notice. Okay, now we're going down here. And I remember why I didn't want to go down there. <laughs> and damn crabs. The crustaceans are the pain in my ass. Although I am surprised that Kyle was willing to team up with us. Although I wasn't... I wouldn't put it completely past me for him wanting to team up with us. Because, I mean... Like Anna said, the powers do complement each other. One's good at tracking, the other one's great at mobility. And my bastard can fly, meanwhile he's stuck to the ground. Maybe I'll just uh, pick him up and uh, drop his ass off on a cliff. So, <laughs> what is it that we're dealing with here? Because it don't seem like dick. I sense a monster in the vicinity. Alright! Let's split up and find him! No, you guys hang back. I'm the hunter here. Let me do my job. Oh god, this is where Hey, who put you in charge? Simmer down. Uh? I know what it is. It's easy to get angry when you're hungry. Honestly. Snickers satisfies. Am I wrong? <laughs> but no, it's more like donuts. Oh no. Okay, that's not a Mitsuzum. What's this? Oh, that had to hurt. Oh, he's powering up. He's going Super Saiyan. Tell me he went Super Saiyan. Oh my god, the cat went Super Saiyan. What did you just do? Crazy ride for me too. The fucking cat went Super Saiyan. That's fucking awesome. Oh, let's kick this thing's ass. The hell is it anyway? Ah, uh, Lagakus. Okay, so you're okay. So we're starting with that. Come on out. Oh. Yeah, man, let's fuck him up. Something made me figure that. I always hit the wrong one. It's two down. Yeah! Yeah! Fucked him up! Could have handled it myself. That man. That is quite the interesting creature. I wouldn't mind having one of those on my team. Hang in there, Orgo. Sarge, you okay? Yeah, I'm alive. You were positively claudacious, pot. I'm amazed the man, like, his hair didn't puff out because of, like, electricity uh, and static with cats. Sarge. We must tend to his wounds. But I, I? I love how Sarge takes the electric ball, fucking falls over and dies. Meanwhile, Naviru, it's like a kid who stuck a fork in a goddamn outlet. He became Super Saiyan. Don't try that at home. I shouldn't have to say it, but don't. Because you won't become Naviru. You'll become what Sarge is, which is almost a fried piece of calamari on the floor. Okay, we'll go on a... <laughs> I'm not going to insist you see things the way we do, but there's something you should be aware of. Are you saying you're my wife now? 
The situation's far worse than it seems. And it's possible that monsters are connected to the pits. Damn it! <laughs> Say what? It's your choice whether to believe it or not. Oh, I'm a hunter. It's all I know. Everything about you people is confusing to me. Says the man who kills things without remorse. I can see that. What's this whole idea of forming kinship with monsters? How do you control them? Um, through the bond of kinship? Dedoy? It's not about control. Monsters help riders of their own will. And the bonds between monsters and riders are just like your bond with Tsukino. I st it confuses me that the T is silent in there. It's like pterodactyl. <gasps> Everyone brings something to the table in the partnership between monsters and riders. This is no different. I beg to disagree because the cat is the size of my Pepsi can. Meanwhile, the monster is like fucking massive. It's not only and your cat can't breathe fire. Under these Mine can. Occurrences. Monsters are too. I should probably get that checked out. To be honest. We're not your enemies. Damn. Resting bitch face there. <laughs> we have to treat Orgo's ones. Let's go back to the shelter. Avery doesn't seem his usual cheery self either. You don't even want the donut, man? Dude, something must have happened. You're not eating your donut? I've got this nagging feeling I'm forgetting something important. The aspect that you just took a 220 volt outlet to the face. And managed Navi, to survive. About that power you have. How the hell did this motherfucker turn into Pikachu? Huh? How? I'd love to ah, know. You mean this? The motherfucker's a Sith Lord. It seemed like Orgo was surprised by it too. I mean, if a cat starts shooting lightning, I... I, I think I'd be surprised. <laughs> Yeah, I got this power after venturing out into the big wide world. You want to hear about my past? It's a long story. Hit me, I'd love to know how you turned into Pikachu. Of course, I'd love to hear about it. I was astray, without a place to call home, without a name. <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> I ended up in a brawl. Sarge turned up and tried to intervene. I know what it is. It's easy to get angry when you're hungry, he said. That only infuriated them. We took a pretty good licking, and we were a sorry sight afterwards. All right. You impressed me in that fight. That was some positively claudacious stuff. It sounds like what he'd say. He seemed so strong, and he always protected me. That's why I call him Sarge. I just figured it was a moral hierarchy thing, but I guess not. We had a dream. We promised to travel the world together. Dude, if I saw th through the world, through the eyes of a donut. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, my mouth's watering thinking about it. Things happened, and we went our separate ways. Our promise went unfulfilled. I got experimented on. I lost my memory. But I gained this power. Oh, that sucks. I can't imagine. At least you it's got like to Rocket see your old friend again. Yeah, and he didn't even get mad at me for breaking our promise. Well, I mean, it, it would be understandable if you both had to go your separate ways. That's positively claudacious. God fucking damn it, she's doing it now. No. Yeah. Positively claudacious and uh... wait, how'd that go again? No, oh, he's rubbing off on her. This isn't a good thing. Is something the matter? Well, we had this catchphrase, but I can't remember the rest of it. Yeah, maybe I'll knock around in your mind. The resident felines witnessed something in the garden. Please hurry. What did they see? I couldn't catch it amid all the uproar. Let's get on the scene.
Hay oh, within Hayes Petal Garden. I thought the monster was called Hayes Petal. <laughs> it's quite the uh, name. All right. Well, um, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Um, we really dealt with some positively claudacious stuff here. But, um, we're going to have to leave it there. So we've so far helped the felines kind of gain back their ground in this quote-unquote war of sorts. Found out Naviru can just randomly go Super Saiyan if you hit him with enough lightning. I wonder if that works with humans. I doubt it, but... And on top of that, we're getting closer and closer to our aspect of trying to figure out what in the world is creating these things. The pits in the ground. Sad that swallowed up the whole cat village, but hey, it seems uh, they're doing pretty good for themselves. So if you guys haven't already, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We are so close to 100 subscribers. And I, uh, Mr. Super Saiyan Navi Roo here, and... Uh, <coughs> Everyone else in the feline village here, we'll see all you great people in the next episode. Bye-bye!